What's going down, family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey, I want to welcome you guys to another installment of Money Mondays with Money Mike. That's right. I'm back with another one. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Hope all is well in life and you are just doing super duper fantastic. As we go into another work week, we're going to go into it with just great cheer. We're going to be feeling good. And so today what I'm going to do is um, we're going to read a little bit of news together. We're going to look at the personal financial side of uh, Yahoo Finance and get you guys in front of some great information. Hopefully this is entertaining to you guys. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, please do me a huge favor and follow my page. Subscribe to me. Also, hit that like button if you enjoy this content and leave me some comments below as well uh, as far as any ideas that you may want me to take a look at as far as news stories or just personal financial tips in general. I am a personal financial coach, so if you would like to work with me, you actually can go to my website at www.moneymike313.com to set yourself up an appointment to get a free 30-minute consultation. And if you decide you'd like to work with me, by all means, you are more than welcome to do so. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this screen here, um, the personal financial side of Yahoo Finance. And let's see what kind of great stuff we got going on today. All right, all right, all right. Let's make sure technology is working with me pretty well. You guys can see pretty well. All right, I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. All right, so let's get into this thing. Let's uh, figure out some interesting stories here in the personal financials state here. All right, um, finance PhD. Okay, that's just an ad. Um, stimulus checks. IRS sends two million more payments in latest round. Uh, many taxpayers are still waiting to get last year's refund. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Government program provides up to nine thousand for COVID related. Oh, this this seems interesting. Um, let's let's take a look at this one. All right, come on, let's get this thing to pop up for us. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're enjoying. Um, again, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying this. All right, so this is a four minute read. So let's take a look at this and see what's going on. Okay, so um, this was actually written on the 12th. So last Monday, this was written. Okay, so Americans who've lost family members or friends from COVID-19 can now apply to get up to $9,000 from the government to reimburse them for their loved one's funeral costs. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, on Monday, opened its COVID-19 funeral assistance line number to pay back funeral expenses for COVID-19 deaths dating back to January 20th, 2020. So this is like almost two years, well, about a year ago, year and a half now. Already on the first day, the agency noted it was experiencing high call volume that was leading to technical issues. You think <laughs> with all these COVID deaths, do you think? All right, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused immense grief for so many people, said acting FEMA Administrator Bob Fenton in a press release. Although we cannot change what has happened, we affirm our commitment to help with funeral and burial expenses that many families did not anticipate. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat out of New York, and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, another Democrat out of New York, pushed for this retroactive assistance since the pandemic's onset in March 2020. The $50 billion in total funding was included in December's $900 billion relief deal and this year's $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. No family should go into debt because they need to bury a loved one. Especially during this pandemic, Schumer tweeted in February when she, well, excuse me, when the assistance was introduced. I'm glad at AOC um, brought this to my attention last year, and I'm proud to have worked together to give relief to thousands of families hurting right now. Okay, so this appears to be the uh, tweet that was put out there, 
And okay, we're looking at who is eligible. This is gonna be the good part. This, I'm sure this part you guys are gonna like. Who is in who is eligible? U.S. citizens and non-citizen nationals can apply on behalf of several deceased family members, including undocumented people. Wow, that's big. If funeral expenses were split among several individuals, FEMA suggests one person apply as an applicant and another as a co-applicant. Those who are el who are not eligible include minors, okay, temporary tourist visa holders, foreign students, temporary work visa holders, Habitual residents such as citizens of the federal states of Micronesia, Palau, and the Republic of the Marshall Islands. And what is the reimbursement amount? The maximum benefit is $9,000 per funeral service. Intermittent, um, yeah, in intermittent or cremation and $35,500 per applicant for costs related to multiple deaths. OK, if the agency deems you eligible, you can opt for funds to be dispersed via a mail check or direct deposit. Now, what expenses are covered? The assistant generally covers expenses related to funeral services and interment or cremation. These include but are not limited to the following transportation for up to two individuals to identify the deceased individual transfer of remains casket or urn, burial plot or cremation niche, marker or headstone, clergy or efficient services, arrangement of the funeral ceremony, use of the funeral home equipment or staff, cremation or inter interment cost, costs associated with producing and certifying multiple death certificates, any other expenses required by local or state government laws. And I'm going to take a quick pause. Hey, down in the comments, somebody please let me know what interment means. I, I might look it up on Google, but hey, forgive my ignorance, but let me know what interment means. Um, and last but not least, how to apply. Okay, so this is how you're going to apply. Applicants are taken by phone only, so you can only call on the phone. Applicants can call the dedicated COVID-19 funeral assistance line number at 844-684-6333 or 800-462-7585 TTY. Weekdays between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Applicants are encouraged to gather the following documents as proof. An official death certificate that occurred in the United States or territory and attributes. Funeral expense documents such as dated and itemized receipts and funeral home contracts. Funding benefits will not cover or replace funeral costs received from burial or funeral insurance. Financial assistance received from voluntary agencies, federal, state, local, tribal, territorial um, government programs or agencies or other sources. The agency expects the application process to take 20 minutes by phone. We will not rush through calls because we intend to make sure every applicant gets their questions answered and receives the help they need um, to apply. The, the FEMA website said, uh, okay, the FEMA website said, okay. All right, so that is that particular article. Um, I, I personally think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I anticipate that being kind of tough because, again, there's going to be a lot of people that's calling for this um, service and um, I will put the information down in the um, down in the description or the comments area um, for Facebook again for YouTube I'm gonna put that down in the description and again in the comments y'all let me know what internment means uh, again because I, I really need to know what that means so I think that's gonna do it for today um, again don't let me forget to um, give you guys that number to the, um, to the FEMA for the um, the funeral expenses for COVID-19. I think that was awesome. Um, $9,000 and up to, I think it was $35,000 um, for multiple deaths. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's big right there. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Comment below um, any, any thoughts on what you see here. 
any you know, news articles you want me to review, hey, go ahead and comment below. And also, please share this, share this, especially today. I mean, I think that was some really great information. So you definitely want to share this with somebody and let them get that um, information, especially the COVID one. That one really hit for me. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that would appreciate this information. Hey, guys, that is my time. This has been Money Mondays with Money Mike. I appreciate all of you guys for checking me out. And as always, I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you, and he sees you all the time, so he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Hey, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you all. Gone.